Well, it was a huge pile of trash in a downtown Fresno neighborhood. It had rats, bugs, and even human waste. Most of the piles were in the area from Ventura to Los Angeles Street and from F Street to Broadway. Neighbors say the debris was the result of a homeless camp, and they say the city government would do nothing about it. However, that was before KNBH News reporter Eric Rosales investigated and uncovered why there was nothing getting done to help the people living there. So, Eric, KMPH News is getting results, right? We certainly are, Ashley. Let me put it this way. For months, people have been living and working near piles of debris just like this one. Debris spilling out into the street filled with rats and tons of flies. And, folks, the stench is horrible. They called KMPH News for help, and we got results. First, folks, let me show you the problem that these people have been dealing with. And you have to ask yourself, could you live next to this? Some call it disgusting, others say it's just plain wrong and is a biohazard that is out of control, growing by the day. Mounds of trash fill the streets of this southwest Fresno neighborhood. It smells and they fight at night and it's not good. You hear how they talk, they cuss, it's not great. This woman and her family live directly across the street from one of the largest piles of trash. She and others say mounds of debris have moved closer and closer to their doors and the stench and flies are horrible. So what are some of the items inside this pile? Well, I found everything from drug paraphernalia to needles, to clothing, to dirty diapers, to lots of flies. So why isn't the city cleaning this up? Yeah, we're very painfully aware of what's going on out there. Fresno Assistant City Manager Bruce Rudd says in the last few months, dumpsters have been placed near the various homeless camps. We're willing to put the dumpsters out there and allow a nonprofit or a church to go out there and clean up because if we go out and we have gone out and cleaned up what people perceive as being and we agree is is junk, we end up being on the you know end of a lawsuit uh, claiming that we threw away someone's personal valuable possessions. Years ago, the city of Fresno was sued and lost a multi-million dollar lawsuit when it cleaned up a homeless encampment. Rudd says the city is now involved in a current lawsuit after city staff tried to clean up the neighborhood where Sophia and others call home. This current lawsuit, we followed the court order to the T, had our attorney out there the whole time that we were doing the cleanup, and we're still being sued and threatened with a multi-million dollar settlement if we don't prevail. Uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, they've claimed a number of times that they've been sued for picking up trash. That is totally untrue. Chris Schneider with Central California Legal Services is representing several of the plaintiffs in the current lawsuit against the city. He says the reason why the city was sued in the past was for throwing away people's property. Urn with ashes of, uh, of relatives, when they've taken students' school books, when they've taken people's medications. Meanwhile, the piles of trash continue to grow. Neighbors and local business owners like James Diaz, who's run his transmission shop for the past 25 years, says he's fed up as a taxpayer. They do it. They urinate in the streets. They uh, drink. They start bonfires on the road. At times, they steal cars, and they park them, and they strip them. Do what they want. Anything they do, they, they, nobody say nothing. That's all there is to it. You know, I started digging, really digging into the story weeks ago, and a few days ago we started running promos to let you know to watch my investigation. And as I suspect, after someone with the city saw these promos, the piles of trash quickly disappeared. I did get a call from a neighbor yesterday. The five locations I showed you in the story were cleaned up by city staff. I took uh, some of these before and after photos, as you see. Residents tell me that city staff came out with dumpter, dumpsters, that is, and picked up the debris, and the whole process took pretty much the entire day. And although residents are glad to see all the trash gone, in the last 24 hours, several piles have returned, all thanks to the homeless. As you can see, that trash is from today. And it's just kind of ridiculous. They come over here and help us out, you know. I, I'm thankful for the city for coming out here and cleaning this mess out, but still, still looks horrible, you know? That's from one day, so they're gonna yes. have to come out on a regular basis. At least twice a week. <laughs>
Sandro says that he lives near the ever-growing pile of trash with his girlfriend and daughter, and she can't even go outside to play. He says that he may have to move, but he just can't afford it right now if the city doesn't come out on a regular basis and clean up this mess. Now, this is more than just an eyesore, Ashley. The homeless are using that pile as a dumping ground, and it's a biohazard out there. I personally believe that the city of Fresno is afraid of its own shadow on how to deal with this homeless issue, and the homeless, well, they know it. Eric, I mean, just looking at those pictures, the transmission of disease alone, it, for the people living across the street, I, you, you can't imagine, and like that guy said, and like you said, he can't afford to, to move, and that's a situation a lot of people, I'm sure, are in. So the piles of trash are back. Is the city going to keep going out and cleaning it up? Well, I tell you what, they're going to have to. I mean, if they're afraid of a lawsuit from uh, the homeless, and the ACLU about cleaning up this mess, then they could end up getting a lawsuit from some of the residents who live in the area because it's a biohazard out there. You're talking about human waste, urine, all of it is out there, and the homeless, they just continue to leave it there. Okay, well, we will keep on top of it. On top of it. And city staff says the mayor will announce a plan within the next month to help the homeless in that area find permanent housing. Of course, as I said, we will continue to stay on top of this story.